Hi, my name is Dan Lighty with Lighty Automation. Today we're going to be working with the Pneumatics G3 Ethernet DLR communication module. We're going to be updating the firmware to a newer version of firmware. There's a couple of things that we need to do in preparation for doing this. It's a very easy process if you follow the steps. First of all, we need to disable the DHCP in the node so that we can preset a Ethernet IP address to the node. To do that, we come over to the screen. There's several ways to do it. We're going to do it on the screen today. And we're going to, as you see, the IP address is 0000. We're going to select the next button until we get to DHCP boot P enable. We're going to press a select and that will highlight the enable word and we're going to move until we hit disable, hit set. We're going to accept that and we're going to do it now. And what that does is now instead of the node looking for the server to assign an IP address, it's going to have a static IP address or a, a very specific IP address. In this case, it's 192.168.3.90. Now that we have that prepared, we're going to come over to the laptop and make sure that my laptop is on the same settings or similar settings so it can communicate. So if we click on my Wi-Fi button down here, I'm connected via Wi-Fi right now, but I'm going to go to my network and internet settings. And I'm going to go to Ethernet, change adapter options. We're going to shrink this here a little bit. I'll move this up here. Here you're going to notice I've got Wi-Fi connected, but I also have my hard plug-in, which is how my manifold is connected. I'm going to right-click on the Ethernet port and hit the Property Settings. In the Property Settings, we're going to hit the Internet Protocol Version 4 and select Properties again. And you'll see here it says it's going. the port is looking to obtain an IP address automatically. My manifold's not going to do that, so I'm going to select use the following, and here I'm going to enter an IP address very similar to the node, but slightly different on the last, they call it octet. So instead of 90, I'm going to do 91 and hit tab. That fills in my subnet mask. Click OK, close, and now my port is ready to communicate, and I can demonstrate that by just opening a browser here and selecting the node's IP address and that will put me directly into the node the website internal to the node okay so as you can see here I've got my website internal to the node so we're gonna close that out move this up here into update the firmware, you're going to get a file sent to you from us or from Pneumatic specifically. And that file is going to have three things in it. The TFTP load. You're going to have the G3240-325, which is the part number to our DLR node, and a specific driver build. And then you're going to have your instructions. Here's your G3 instructions on how to change this. We pull that up. And it's basically telling you step by step everything that we're doing here um, in, in this video. Okay, so we're going to close that back out, bring the video back on. And we're going to first, once you click this, it's going to download it. And once I select that, it's not going to do anything for me. So. I come into my files here and we'll move this aside. If I click on my downloads, I click on my downloads and I right click on it to copy it and then go to my desktop and paste it on my desktop. Okay, so now I have it pasted on my desktop. And I'm going to now
download the zip file. Once I open the zip file, I'm going to have the TFTP load. Double click on this application and your security system is mine. Might suggest, hey, we're protecting your PC. You might want to take a second look at this. If you click the more, you can run anyhow. And once that runs, you're going to get a piece of software that comes up that looks like this. And what we're going to do once we have the software up is we want to put in the IP address of the node. 168, I'm sorry, 192.168.3.90. And then we want to say, find my node. And it already did that. It went out and pinged that node and is communicating with it. You can see approximate round trip time, all the information in the MAC address of the node. Now I want to click here on the firmware image and go through the browse settings. This is now taking me out, just like I said, straight to the desktop. That's why we brought that over to the desktop. And I'm going to click on, instead of firmware zip, I'm going to click on firmware image. And now you're going to see that I've got a bunch of different, I've done this several times, i got a bunch of different um, firmwares here. The 43839 is, I know, is actually on the node right now, so we're going to change it just to prove that we can do it and how to look to make certain it happened. We're going to pick the 43999 build and click open. Once we have that all set up, we come over and hit the run all steps. This is gonna run through a full process and you'll watch the node over here, we're powering off. Um, and then we're gonna bring it back to life, upload the software or upload the firmware. Uh, we're starting to download now. You can see the module still dark, but we are communicating with the module status. Um, and it takes about 45 seconds in total to get this accomplished. And you can see we're counting down from 30 here to do this. But again, as I mentioned, the build is the 43999 build. And we're going to show you once this comes back to life how to verify that that actually was accepted by the node. So as we're going through this, there we time our time is up. And you can see we have update complete. Okay. Now I'm going to go over to the node and show you how to click through here and find where that firmware is. If we click on the next and go all the way to diagnostics and click set on diagnostics, which gets us in there and click next, there's our firmware build 43999. So we were able to upgrade and load the latest firmware 43999 build to our Ethernet DLR. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at Lighty Automation here at 440-546-1019. We would certainly love to help you with anything you have going on with your Ethernet node.